And during the reunion, we saw that you guys are still together. You're yeah. living together. So give us an update on that. And have you guys talked about marriage? Because that's what you guys came on the show for. Is that going to happen? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a great question. I love it. Um, You know, this is this was such a once in a lifetime opportunity. And um, I we've talked a lot about how we wouldn't have done it any other way as far as like, you know, had we have gotten engaged, um, would we have made it through such a high pressure pressure situation? And, um, you know, we don't know, we can't, we can't speak to that, right? Because we weren't in the situation together. But what I can tell you is immediately when we started dating, we were like, so what do we do? Like, this is, we know a lot about each other, but like, do we, do we put a ring on it? Like, what do we do? Um, but we both decided for ourselves, it was better to take the opportunity to get to know each other and just really dive into that real life, real life relationship. Um, and, and we're so grateful for that. And we've learned so much more about each other, especially living together, but we've definitely talked about marriage. Um, it's, it's something that we both are still wanting to do. Um, but we want it to be on our terms. <laughs> You know, so much has been exposed uh, to the world, which, you know, we're comfortable with, but we also have our own special connection. And I think that being able to build on that and have our own, you know, spin on it, I think is going to be really unique and fun for us. So um, we do live together. The bull picture is hanging up in the bedroom. So, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so definitely something that we're looking forward to eventually. For sure. That's great to hear. And, you know, it's hard to be in a relationship in general, but now you have the whole world weighing in on with their own opinions, a lot being said on social media, a lot of people yeah. try to like raise red flags at you. How are you handling that you yourself and also in your relationship with Jeremy? Oh my gosh, it's such a good question. So I um, do my best to try not to let some of the hate that I see on the internet get to me. But um, again, I am human and um, I will always try to defend myself. I I definitely am a person that I, I, I pride myself on the fact that I think I can take the heat that I've like, there's so much being thrown at us that I'm like, you know what, it's okay. People are going to say what they say, but um, I am a human being. And and so some of it does, does get to me at times. And, and it does, you know, I, I don't want to speak for Jeremy, but I live with him. I know him well. And um, just based off our relationship, it does take a toll at times. But when you have a strong connection with someone, he mentioned on the reunion, you fight for that person. Um, and that's what we do every day. We have to work through a lot. So yeah, we have our moments of, of uh, I guess, I wouldn't say defeat, but we have our moments of of sadness and, you know, wishing that it could have been done differently definitely and you've now gotten a chance it's been over a year you got to watch the episodes back um and seeing the fan reactions on top of that does any part of you regret at all sending that dm or that jet ski scene with you and jeremy <laughs> it was in front of laura and the cast i know a lot of people are asking you about that so no I, I i can't ever say that i regret sending the direct message in fact um eventually i'm going to i'm going to share the message with the world so that everyone can see what it actually said um but you know i i had to fight for a love that i believe in you know and all is fair in love and war when you really feel something like here's how here's how i want to say this that if you think that you fell in love with someone or that you have an extremely you met the love of your life or that you have a strong connection with someone and you don't fight for that, you don't have what you thought you did. And so I, I fought for it. Yeah. So I, I don't regret sending the message. It was very um, well thought out, heartfelt. When I sent it, I, I fully felt like, you know, Laura could see this message, but like I had mentioned when I, I was apologizing to Laura, um, I, I expected her being the strong woman that she is to be like, okay, that's fair. You know, she also dated him and had a strong connection with him, but I, I have the ring and we have the connection and it didn't go that way. <laughs> and, and realistically, like I knew that they got engaged, but I didn't know the status of the relationship or how things were going in, in the Dominican. I just knew how the experiment worked and that we were dating the same amount of time um, anything could have happened. So I, I don't regret it. it. It It's put me in a position to be with someone that I really care about and love. And, um, the jet ski scene, <laughs> I'm a goofball. I literally am such a goofball, but, um, I can tell you that I never, 
ever wanted to hurt Laura. And, you know, again, I'll, I'll say it 10 times over. I apologize if she did get hurt in, in the situation. Um, whenever you have a lot of people attacking you, um, it's, it's fight or flight. It's a natural human response to be like, I'm out of here, you know? And, and, um, this I'm, I, I've, I've been told, you know, in therapy many a times that, you know, you use humor to, to deflect. And so it was like, well, let's jump on here. Let's get out of the situation. And this will kind of be just like a funny moment, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, I think, I think things could have been handled differently, but again, I'm going to go back to what I said in that moment, you just kind of do like, you just black out. You're just like, ah, I'm going to go with it because this is what feels right. <laughs> And if you never sent that DM, do you think Jeremy still would have reached out and found his way back to you in some way? I think so. I think our connection was just so strong and real. And again, in the pause, you can see like he breaks up with me. I didn't have much to say. And I was like, okay, well, I think we'll probably see each other again. He's like, I think so. And so it just, it didn't feel as if it was over, you know? And like, I think just having intuition as a person, I, I think I was like, this is not over. And I, I felt that I knew that even before any messages were sent. Um, but that's what happens when you build a strong connection with somebody. I mean, it's it's like you can feel that through a wall. It's an incredible. That's what I love about the experiment is you I'm flabbergasted by the amount of tension and energy that you can actually feel from another person. So um, I do believe at the end of the day um, that we would have found our way back to each other just you know, again, I think, I think the connection speaks for itself. Um, yeah.